Century Program Logo Century Lanes at San Isidro Border Crossing slash Port of Entry, 2015. Tijuana, Mexico to San Diego, California. The secure electronic network for travelers rapid inspection provides expedited U.S. Customs and Border Protection processing, at the U.S.-Mexico border, of pre-approved travelers considered low risk. Voluntarily applicants must undergo a thorough background check against criminal, customs, immigration, law enforcement, and terrorist databases, a 10-fingerprint law enforcement check, and a personal interview with a CBP officer. The total enrollment fee is $122. 50, and Sentry status is valid for 5 years. Once the applicant is approved, they are issued a radio frequency identification card identifying their status in the CBP database when arriving at U.S. land and seaports of entry. Sentry users have access to dedicated lanes into the United States. Unlike Nexus, which is a joint program between United States and Canadian immigration authorities, Sentry is solely a CBP program and only applies to customs and immigrations inspections into the United States, not into Mexico. Sentry members are permitted to utilize Nexus lanes when entering the United States from Canada by land. Global Entry allows registered users to enter their own Sentry applications and approved members to edit their information. A valid Sentry card is a Western Hemisphere Travel Initiative compliant document. Sentry Lane at Otay Mesa in 1997 Sentry was conceived in 1995. A team of representatives from the Immigration and Naturalization Service, U.S. Customs Service, and five other federal stakeholder agencies was formed and established a technical concept, engineering design and relevant policies. The first Sentry Lane was deployed at the Otay Mesa Port of Entry in San Diego, California, where the concept and design was refined. Additional technology tests, including in-vehicle biometrics and lane-side facial recognition, were conducted at this site. In 1998, the decision was made to expand Sentry to El Paso, Texas. The aim was to relieve congestion at the busy Paso del Norte International Bridge. However, this bridge was not wide enough to set aside one lane as a dedicated commuter lane. Therefore, the nearby Stanton Street Bridge, which had been a southbound-only bridge, was chosen as the best place to deploy Sentry. A new port of entry facility was built, and the Sentry Lane opened in September 1999. Next, the Sentry team elected to deploy a system at the busiest single border crossing in the world, San Isidro, California. The congested nature of Tijuana, near the border crossing, made it difficult to identify a place to put the dedicated lane, but with the cooperation of many organizations on both sides of the border, a lane was segregated, and Sentry opened at San Isidro in 2000 after which point the Sentry team was disbanded, and Sentry became a program office within INS. After INS was sunsetted on March 1, 2003, the Sentry program office was absorbed by DHS Customs and Border Protection. Today, Sentry lanes can be found at the following ports of entry, from west to east, U.S. citizens may use their Sentry membership at U.S. Customs and Border Protection Global Entry kiosks located in participating U.S. airports. Mexican nationals who are Sentry members may apply for global entry after passing a risk assessment conducted by the Mexican government. U.S. citizens who are Sentry members may use TSA pre-check on all participating airlines by entering their Customs and Border Protection ID number. Or pass ID slash KTN from their Sentry card into their flight reservation information or into their frequent flyer account. The same privileges extend to Nexus and global entry members. Note that such trusted travelers have a very high probability of receiving pre-check, it is not guaranteed, TSA still uses random procedures for all passengers. This said, global entry participants have the absolute highest priority slash likelihood for receiving pre-check. Enrollment centers are located in Douglas, Nogales, and San Luis, Arizona, Calexico, Otay Mesa, and San Isidro, California, and Brownsville, El Paso, Hidalgo, and Laredo, Texas. Thanks for watching.